Last time on Pokemon Fire Red, I exited the fighting gym again. Like, does it need to tell me that like twice? <laughs> and it departed from the underground. And then I went to Lavender Town, got the flute from Mr. Fuji after saving him. Well, technically saving him. I bought a lot of great balls so that we can capture a Snorlax. Which I didn't really need to do at all. Hello everyone, my name is Ultimate Ultimates. Ultimates. Welcome back to Pokemon and uh, Fire Red. And in the last part, we caught our last Pokemon that we're gonna have on our team. This big, this big fat fellow. His name is Bodie, and I'm hoping everyone loves him. Anyway, in this episode of Pokemon uh, Fire Red, we I was gonna try and do something else, but I decided you know let's just do the other thing, which is basically we're gonna challenge the gym leader. Uh. Erica, I think, right? Erica? To a Pokemon battle. Oh yeah, right. Can't, can't enter that without a Pokemon. But I might as well explain. So, in this episode, I think we'll just be fighting Erica, and then we might try and go and fight, uh... Oh, no, no, I think we should head to, uh... Po uh... Silphco Tower and deal with Team Rocket there. Maybe after we deal with Erica, I'm not sure. It, it depends on whether or not, like, how... How effective Erica is going to be? Like, oh hey, is Erica going to be extremely bad or just, eh, just, uh, just meh? It all really all depends on, like, what exactly it is that uh, it's going to happen in this fight between. Them. Anyway, where was I? So yeah, in this episode we'll be fighting another gym leader to get another badge. Hopefully it'll be good, and hopefully this doesn't end up badly. Let's see. Hey, this gym is great. It's full of women. Okay, old man, calm yourself there. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna fight everyone in the gym, so yeah, uh, be prepared for either a speed up or something. But for now, I'm gonna be training a specific Pokemon. I'm gonna be training Bodhi and, uh, and, uh, Arrow a bit in this gym. Just to beef them up, because, like, they're gonna be the most effective in this particular gym. Uh, Cage, I'm not sure how well he's gonna do against anybody else. Like, uh, he's not gonna be good against grass types, so I can't use him. You know, this old gym feels kinda sexist in some way. And I'm not saying, like, as a man I should be respected or anything. I'm just saying, like, all these women are really putting da putting me down, honestly. Anyway, uh, some of the attacks, um, Bodhi has, I'm gonna have to change them and give him certain other attacks. I might give him, like, a fire bait attack, but that's yet to be seen. <coughs> Anyway, we got Bell Sprout and we got a Weeping Bell. The weirdest design in this Pokemon generation. It literally doesn't look good. I don't know why, it just looks kind of ugly. And everyone's already made the joke about the you know what, like, so I don't need to say anymore. But looks like Bodhi is very much doing well. I think he learned certain moves after a while, like after certain attacks, so that's pretty cool. The one thing I have a grievance with this gym besides the females that talk down to you is the fact that you need a Pokemon. You need a Pokemon to know cut in order to get through certain obstacles, like the little trees that are growing in here. Like, oh hey, are you a s like, you really think that this trainer would allow anybody to fight them, but no, they have to make it difficult. It's almost as, like, it's, it's, I don't know which one's worse, the, I don't know which one's worse. The, uh, Koga's, no, not Koga's, um, Lieutenant Surge's gym where you have to find that button, uh, puzzle, or, or, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, oh, I know, this one, yeah. I don't know which gym is more designed worse to, like, against a person, either Lieutenant Surge's or Erica's, because, like, you need a Pokemon to cut, and you want to bring all your team with you, but she won't let you because she's trying to prevent you from bringing your team, I guess. I don't know, I just feel as if it's kind of a bit, like, dumb to just... Oh, hey, you know what? If you want to have your Pokemon here, you can't. You need one of them to no cut, and that's a bad move. Or that's a stupid move. Oy. I... Oh, oh, wait, did I... Ah, darn it. I forgot to... Uh, dang it. Eh, I forgot. And I forgot. I needed to bring a, uh, dang it, I, I forgot that I had a, I think I had an amulet? Okay, for those of you who don't know, I think I had a, what do you call it? An amulet coin, which allowed me to 
get double the money or more money when I fight trainers. So unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately I forgot the darn stupid thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do there. Okay. But, yeah, I, okay, let me, let me talk about, like, uh, Lieutenant Surges. Like, if you guys know of a gym that's, like, not friendly, like, to the trainer that comes in, like, not friendly, user friendly, trainer friendly, like, to any person who goes into a gym, please, leave a comment down below and tell me what gym do you think is more, like, bad. Because, like, certain other gyms, like, either in the next generation or the previous generation were pretty bad. I remember Bugsy's gym was not extremely bad, but it was something. It was, like, not completely, like, oh, hey, you can just walk right in. No, you can't do that. And I remember one gym, like, uh, uh, Flans or Flares, Floran, whatever her name was, from, uh, the Hoenn League, where she basically had you go through vents, like, uh, steaming hot, uh, hot springs in order to get to her. Which launches you up and down, which kind of is decent, but it, it's like, oh hey, you have to go through hot water in order to go through certain places. It seems kind of dangerous, don't you think? Anyway, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. I need to uh, get uh, Bodhi's PP back up. So yeah, give me a second. Okay, okay, we're back. And, well, you saw exactly what was happening, right? Not really. Anyway. Let's, uh, switch out with, uh, yeah, let's switch out with Arrow. I do want to have all my Pokemon level up, so this is going to be taking a bit of a while, honestly. Ugh. Cool Trainer Mary? Wow, she's so cool! Seriously, did they just pack this entire area with only, like, uh, female sprite characters? Because, yeah, I've sort of seen every single one that you can see, and I haven't seen anybody else. Yeah, bird, bird attack. Fly, fly, my birds. Fly! Insert, uh, what do you call it? Insert, uh, frick. Insert flying monkeys reference. Fly, my pretties, fly! Anyway, it's... The one thing, that's one thing I never got with Pokemon. Why do flying types, are, why are flying types effective against grass? I know birds, like, basically fly high and the grass is on the ground. But rock types are good against, like, uh, flying types. Which, I, I don't get it. <coughs> like, I literally don't get it. Or does it just mean, like, oh, hey. Is it because, like, birds have been known to chew on grass or something, or use grass clippings for, like, stuff? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we've definitely never seen a Gloom, I think. We've seen Oddish before, but we haven't seen Gloom or Vileplume yet. So... That's the one thing I never got with, uh, Pokemon with its grass type. But, you know what? It's fine. I'm okay with, like, uh, birds being good against grass. It, it's, it's definitely making, like, uh, getting EXP easier for, uh, my, uh, arrow here. So I can't complain. Yeah, good job. You almost got it. You know, I can't blame them. There's no way to counter fly because it's kind of annoying for your trainers. Or everyone else. Yeah! Trainer Mary. Oh, beaten. Oh, beaten! Yeah, that's exactly how I do it. Okay. Let's, uh, switch to Dreamer, because some of these, uh... Some of these, uh, grass types are actually poison types. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. So is mine! And everyone else at this gym. And also the entire world at this point. Seriously, this entire plane of existence is completely just... Oh, Pokemon training, Pokemon training, Pokemon training. There's nothing else besides Pokemon training. Well, there's a few other things, but Pokemon training is the main thing. Seriously, there's like Pokemon, like, uh, breeding, there's, uh, there's, a uh, What do you call it? Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon training, what am I talking about? There's like Pokemon, like, contests, there's like Pokemon, uh, stadium events, and other stuff. Like, if you're not battling Pokemon, you're doing one of the other few things that no one talks about. That, that's one thing I kind of find funny in the Pokemon world. They talk about, like, Pokemon battles as if it's life, blood. It's the only thing. And, uh, and for the new Sun and Moon, even though you're not really battling for gym trainers or anything for gym badges, 
you're still fighting like gyms, like still like different planes of like. N well, they're not gyms because like technically they're not gyms, but they're still some form of uh, contestment system where you have to progress through them. Like you know the uh, Aloha like Kahuna things, whatever you want to call them. Because they're starting to make that up, and that seems kind of like like oh hey, that's like different from gym trainer gyms. No, they're not. They're basically the same thing. Anyway. Sorry about that long pause. Uh, what'd you say? Only Erica might be quiet, but she's famous around here. Well, that's good to hear, I guess. Anyway, we're about to fight Erica, so... Well, there's no pushing it around. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? Well, it's always lovely weather around this part. But I hear in Hoenn and it's really rainy around this time. And I know, I know, for those of you wondering, don't get mad. I know Hoenn is basically like... Hoenn is like year... Like, Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby are is years from the original game. I know. I'm just making a joke. Also, I hear that in uh, Mount Silver, it's a bit uh, snowy, actually. We haven't been to Mount Silver at all. Not yet. Anyway, foreshadow. Anyway, it's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica. I am the leader of Saladon City. Saladon Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arrangement. And Pokemon training are solely... <laughs> yeah, they're grass types. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea about that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Well, I've got like, uh, three Pokemon here that would disagree with you on that. But you don't have that many Pokemon, actually. I expected you to have more. Oh, Victory Bell. My only real complaint with Victory Bell is in its anime appearance, and it's creepy when it screams like, Yeah! It, like, makes that weird sound. I might play over it. But besides that, Victory Bell is... It's, a, it's an okay grass type. I would have gotten a Bell Sprout if I was playing Pokemon Green, Leaf Green instead of Fire Red. Tangela, right? Uh, yeah. Might as well just get this one out. He's like Dreamer's already 31. That's good. Arrow is like level 31 too, but at least she's gonna do well against the uh, Tangela. I think I might have overprepared for this. I think. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I might think I'm overprepared. But then again, you can never be too underprepared, you know? Ooh, Vile Blue. Cool! Finally, we get to see the entire grass, like the entire grass team of everything. At least you have evolved forms of certain Pokemon. Except for the Tangela, I don't get that one. Giga Drain. Is that gonna do a lot? And it... It, it does a little bit. <coughs> Yay! Headbutt! Wait, how am I faster than you, exactly? Wait a second, how am I- how am I faster than you, exactly? Full heal. Well, that's not gonna help you, but... See? You know what the weirdest thing for me is that I just realized? My creature, um, Snorlax knows headbutt, despite its head being smaller and relative size to its body. It's like, oh hey, let me bend down a bit. And if you guys know how Snorlax looks, you definitely know that bending down isn't really too much of a better option. So that's kind of weird, like, oh, let me bend down to push my head into you. Not my giant gut or anything. Let me not use that. I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer onto you the Rainbow Badge. Yeah! The Rainbow Badge! Rainbow Badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey you! It also allows Pokemon to use strength in, in and out of battle. Please also take this. Ooh, what, is that Giga Drain? Yeah, Giga Drain! Half, half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Well, it's decent. Like, it, it's good for a grass type, but I'm not sure how well it's for everyone else. Okay, I know that guy that talks to me is usually here. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. I gotta go heal my Pokemon, and then I'll meet you guys where I want to go next. Let's see, it's a Pokemon printer. Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll take the normal, and... Your Pokemon print is already. Check your trainer, char trainer card. In all honesty, this is a bit of a novelty type of thing, like, oh hey, you can do this, and... In all honesty, it's nothing really, like, extreme, but it's pretty cool, honestly, I like it. 
By the way, that image is kind of BS because, like, uh, Fero's sprite is almost bigger than uh, Blastoise or, like, uh, and Hypno's almost bigger than, uh, like, uh, Blastoise. Trust me, the size differences is very astounding. Anyway, but I won't get into that. All I will say, though, is that I kind of like this. I kind of like that whole thing because it's kind of cool. And now that I have it. Anyway, I'll be back in a second. I gotta uh, do what I was said I was gonna do. I was gonna go somewhere else, but I can't find the guy, so you know what? I think he might be around the city, but I don't know. Either way, there's nothing really important he has to say, so let's just move on. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If you have completed- if your Pokedex is completely data on 40 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Trust me, with an amulet coin. Think I think? Great, you have caught 36. Congratulations, here you go. Yay, I got the amulet coin! An item to be held by Pokemon. If the Pokemon appears in a winning battle, you will earn more money. Yay, more monies! Anyway, let's just give that to Wade, because most of the time he'll be out. But I will give it to somebody else later on, at least in some degree. Oh, let's just give it. Let's just give it to like Wade because like he 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 deserves a lemonade. Like, give that man a drink. Give that man a cookie. Give that man a uh, what do you call it? A beating? Yeah, a beating. Give that man a beating. Anyway. For those of you curious as to what the heck I'm doing in this particular shop, I I dealt with the Snorlax, I'm done with it. I, I, I wanted to capture a female Snorlax just because. Like, I wanted a girlfriend for, like, Bodhi, but and it didn't happen. The reason why, I it, it's just because I just wanted to think of it as that. So, pretend as if I did capture a female uh, Snorlax for Bodhi and I named her uh, Christy. Let's just call it Christy. But... For now, I'm gonna be going through the, uh, bicycle road. At least to get to, um, Fuchsia City, is it? I think, right? Uh, what was it called again? Is it Fuchsia City, right? I think... I think it's Fuchsia City, right? Yeah, Fuchsia City. I'm gonna head to Fuchsia City. So, uh... So, yeah, when I get there, I'll just... Basically show, show it off. I'm mainly getting there so that way I can fly back and forth because I really don't want to go in between like uh, areas in order to get there. After that, I'm just gonna be basically uh, what do you call it? Doing nothing in particular, actually. I'm gonna. I'm thinking of what to do because, like, technically you have to go to Fuchsia City first before you have to fight the. Like, like uh, for Fuchsia City, you have to fight. It's a notice. Watch out for discarded items. Oh, right. I, if I keep on, like, just walking right into it, that happens. Tips. All Pokemon are unique. Even Pokemon are the same species. Okay, thank you. Okay, what's this one? Training tips. Press P to stay in place while on the slope. Well, I'm glad to hear that's the case. Okay, anyway. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so technically in Fuchsia City, technically you have to go to Fuchsia City first. Well, technically you have to fight the gym leader at Fuchsia City first before you have to fight against... Don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs instead, okay? What was I? Uh, yeah, you have to fight, um, Koga before you fight, um, Sabrina, I think. I know you have to do that at the very least, because like... You get the Soul Badge before you get the Marsh Badge. And don't get it confused, the Soul Badge slopes in here, okay. And don't get it wrong, uh, the Soul Badge is mainly used... Uh, is used in conjunction with something else. The Soul Badge is for the uh, uh, Marsh Gym, the... Uh, no, 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 for the Ninja Poison Gym, and the uh, Psychic Gym is the Marsh Badge. Which should be in between, which should be switched, but whatever. I don't got, I don't got a, I, I don't got a gold duck. I really wish I did have one so that we can trade, but that I don't have one. But yep, now we're in Fuchsia City. Yay! Oh look, a Lapras. I think you can get a Lapras in this game. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember. But there's a couple of things I want to do before we go any, or before we do anything else. I know we should just like fight Koga. 
but I can train my Pokemon just a little bit more, and I might do that as a filler episode, like a filler episode, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just do some other stuff, I don't know. What I do want to do, though, is basically go back to the gym. Not this gym. I want to go back to, um, Saffron City real quick. And I want to finish the thing that we were supposed to do, but never did do. <coughs> For those of you curious as to what the heck I'm talking about, uh, well, in the Pokemon anime, well, no, no, not in the anime. In, like, the last episode, well, the, uh, technically in the last episode I'm talking about, beforehand, I fought these guys. I fought all of these guys in order to try and fight them in order to get a specific Pokemon. Or at least I tried to do that. I tried. I tried my best. But unfortunately, they were a little bit too much for me. But now I am back with a vengeance. And I will beat every one of them. I have no fear for anything. Tough. I shatter boulders for training every day. Your arm must be broken at this point. Either that or you're Chuck Norris. And since I do not see a nice beard on you, you are not Chuck Norris. And you're not throwing racial slurs at me, so I know that much. Well, no, no, no. Chuck Norris wasn't racist. He was just... What do you call it? He was, uh, not politically incorrect. That's not the word. Like, I forget what it was called. Wait, oh, yeah, he was, uh, gay bashing at some point. Like, he really didn't like the gays for some reason. Like, I get the point that he was basically. Forget you, man! Like, that's unfair that you can do that. Anyway, let's see. Uh, what was that? Anyway, my point is that with Chuck Norris, he really didn't like the gays. And he just said, oh, you know what, forget you people. But something to that nature, he basically did. He just, like, what do you call it, he just didn't really care for them. And he just went like, oh, you know what, the gay is this, gay is that. He went on a gay bashing for a bit. And, well... Well, everyone knows exactly what happened after that. Like, everyone started to either hating on him or calling him names stuff like that I really don't know what else to say he's like it's like I have nothing against like gay people themselves and that's exactly my point that I'm trying to make but unfortunately for like a few people that kind of upset it a lot of people so yeah I can't say oh they're in the wrong for not liking Chuck Norris because of that they, they, they've, they've kind of got a point for not liking him because of that so I can't say completely like, oh hey, he's not in the right. You get my point. Chuck Norris just really didn't appreciate, didn't really say stuff. Okay, you know what? Let me stop talking about Chuck Norris because at this point I'm kind of tired of talking about Chuck Norris. <sighs> Forget you, you stupid monkey. Just die, seriously. Get you. Okay, yeah, stub my toe. Up my fingers. Oh, for oh, I forgot. Take your shoes off. Why do you want me to take my shoes off? These shoes are for my mother, sir. They are important to me. Shockwave. Shockwave. Thunder. No. No. Okay, thank God. I thought he would have like, I thought he might have gone like three times and I was like, no, you better not go five times. I hate it whenever Fury Swipes does that and it just happens. This gym might take the entire episode, depending. I don't know. He's like, I, I just wanted to show off the gym and, well, this dojo, basically. And I wanted to show off when I get the, uh, the fighting type Pokemon that, you know, you get from this, from this place. So I will show that. But that's about it, I think, for this episode. Next episode, I think I might just, like, uh, figure out what to do. I think I might, um... Like, what do I do? Like, I'm really thinking of, like, what I should be doing. What should I do? I think in the next, in the next episode, I might go out and fight, um, somebody else. Maybe I might go out. I might, in the next episode, I might just, like, go into the Marsh Gym already. Or, maybe in the next episode I'll go into the, the Safari Zone to get a certain thing. Like, you need a specific item in order to progress through the game, so I might just do that. So, after this whole gym, I'm gonna be heading back out. No, not after this gym. I'm basically gonna be heading back, and, uh, 
I'm gonna be heading to the Safari Zone. I'm gonna be heading to the Safari Zone, getting all of the things I can in the Safari Zone, like special items here and there, and getting something that's needed. And then after that, I'm gonna be heading back from the Safari Zone in order to go somewhere else. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, but you get my point. Actually, you know, you know what I mean when I say I'm gonna go to the Zavara Zone to get stuff. If you guys haven't played Women Fire Red and Leaf Green, you definitely don't know what I'm talking about. Well, then there you go. But that's about it. After that, I might just, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, might not do much after that. Anyway, the, the thing I want to tell you guys about, though, is that, uh, Grunt. Urgh is that in the next episode I'm gonna try to press the story as far as I can, or at least try to prepare for it, so... In the next episode, it might be the Safari Zone. It might be just the, the Safari Zone and the Marsh Gym. Or maybe it's the Safari Zone and, uh, possibly training? I don't know, I'm gonna have to think this over, so... So, yeah, so, yeah, I I'm gonna see you guys when I get there, I guess, or after I'm done here. But Black Belt Ku Kuchi Kuchi. Kochi. Kochi. Oh yeah, this is one of the Pokemon you can get for, like, uh, fighting the gym. <coughs> you can either get a... Fuck sakes, man. Seriously. You can either get a Hitmonlee or a Hitmonchan. Yeah, that's what you get, you stupid. You can either get a Hitmonlee or a Hitmonchan from this gym. So, yeah, a Hitmonchan. Yeah, switch out. Jeez, like seriously. It's unfair that you can do that. Anyway. Let's, uh, peck. That's what you get, you stupid, stupid foe. Oh, come on. Kind of unfair. Okay. Not really effective, but you know what? This is... Fire Punch. Yeah, you're not gonna get another punch on me. Why, uh... And that's how you do it. I know Hitmonchan isn't in fact based on Jackie Chan, it's based on a boxer. And uh, Hitmonlee isn't really technically based off Bruce Lee, it's based off of something else. But it's like technically based off, it's like, I heard like it's technically based off of a Japanese boxer and a Japanese fighter. Bruce Lee is just happened to be named Bruce Lee because Bruce Lee. The moves are counters move last used by the foe with the same move. You know what, that could be useful, so I'm gonna use it. I don't know. Maybe it might work, maybe it might not. Whatever, I'm gonna give it a try. Her, er, beaten. Do you just grunt all the time and say words? Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. But only pick one, because we're greedy like that. I don't get it. Anyway, the Pokemon I'm gonna choose is basically a... is one that I've been thinking long and hard about, and it's Hitmonlee. No, no, not the Piston Punching Hitmonchan. The Hard Kicking Hitmonlee, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna take Hitmonlee because it's Hitmonlee. I, I do like Hitmonlee's design more than Hitmonchan because it's like... Hitmonchan looks more like a... Uh, it it's a boxer, I'm okay with that, but I like kicking, honestly, a little bit better. But with Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, it's not look like he's wearing clothing, because like Hitmonchan, I'm okay with clothing on Pokemon a bit. But Hitmonchan looks like he's wearing a skirt, and I, I don't like that too much. I don't hate it, but you get my point. Hitmonlee, let's call you Skitty. No, 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 no. His real name's gonna be something else, I swear. Let's call you Stan, he's just because. Okay. Stay and train with us at karate. Better not get greedy. Oh, come on, we beat the entire gym. Let's take another one. And another one. And another one. Anyway. Yeah, that's about it for Saffron or for this episode. I'm gonna be basically doing whatever I can in the next episode. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And, well, this episode I thought was pretty productive. Or at least somewhat. Anyway, guys, my name is Dr. Rodolfo. I'm saying see you all next time for the next video. Until then, sign on my butts.